What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Pinnacle and in today's video I'm going to show you how to find out if your Mac processor is a 32-bit or a 64-bit capable processor. Okay, so before showing it to you, let's just go over some of these terms. Like what is 32-bit and 64-bit? So oh, let's just have a look here. The terms 32-bit and 64-bit refer to how much of your computer's memory can be used by the installed operating system and the applications that run within that operating system. So computer's memory is a RAM, it's called RAM, which is a random allocation memory. Uh, if you want more information, please Google that. Wikipedia and a lot of other websites will help you out, okay? Uh, so let's carry on. So a 32-bit uh, operating system typically only allows for up to about 4 gigabytes of RAMs to be utilized by the operating system or any of the installed prog programs. Therefore, it makes sense to only install 32-bit programs on a 32-bit operating system as a 64-bit program would not be able to access any more RAM than a 32-bit program on a 32-bit operating systems. Okay, so it's going to be like a system overload kind of situation that will occur if you, uh, if you install a 64-bit program on a 32-bit op op operating system. Okay, so a 64-bit operating system allows uh, for much higher RAM access and capacity. So one other thing, interesting fact, a 64-bit operating system would allow for both 32-bit and 64-bit programs to be installed. Okay, so that's an interesting uh, fact. I, uh, I didn't know about it until uh, a couple of days ago, to be honest. <laughs> but uh, let's go and find out what my Mac has. Like, is it a 32-bit or is it a 64-bit capable uh, processor that's running my uh, Mac? Okay, so you go to click on this Apple thingy here about this Mac click uh, I got high here I'm pretty sure it's 64 bit but uh, let's just uh, go over there well I've already checked <laughs> I'm going to show you how to go there system report click and bam we're here processor name uh, so it's uh, the hardware overview section we're at uh, it's just the default uh, uh, what do you call it page where that that it uh, brings it to you once you click uh, system report, okay? So Processor name what's my processor name Intel Core i7 uh, Processor speed is pretty high, but let's go with deal with the processor name in the processor name is Intel Core i7 i7 So Intel Core i7 is 64-bit capable processor. No question about it uh, I've looked into it and I'm going to show you uh, What I've gotten so far? So here, click on it, bam. If it's Intel Core i7, what do I have? I have i7, right? Yeah, Intel Core i7 is 64-bit processor. Right there, you can see that. So Intel Core Solo is 32-bit, Intel Core Duo is 32-bit, uh, the rest of them all 64-bit. So we got Intel Core 2 Duo 64-bit, i3, i5, i7, all of them 64-bit, and we got Quad-Core uh, Xeon. 64 and then dual core Intel Xeon whatever that is they're all 64 so only two of them whatever I compile over here uh, just two of these uh, operating uh, operating system uh, these processors are 32-bit uh, but all of them are 64-bit okay so uh, that's that's how it goes any question comment let me know and uh, yeah thanks for watching my videos please subscribe and share